That's right. And review it at the time. We give our personal opinions on pop culture and much more. And this morning, we're reviewing our favorite Christmas movies. Yep. Uh, Natalie, I know you've got a couple. I have, uh, I do. I think I have two or three that I no took note of. So um, the first one that I have on my list is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Good one. That's one of my favorites. I mean, it, it really, it has the singing, you know. Now, is that the cartoon one or no, the Jim Carrey one? the Jim Carrey one. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. The singing, I love the Grinch and his voice. I think it's Jim Carrey, I should say. Uh, he does a phenomenal job. Cindy Lou, um, you know, Whoville. It, Love that movie, and uh, but my top favorite Christmas movie came out in 2003, and that's Elf with Will Ferrell. Mm -hmm. um, I quote that movie in my everyday life. You <laughs> know, Solon loves that too. I guess uh, you know at the end of the show we always say join us tomorrow at 9 a.m. and I'm always thinking 10 a.m. Santa's coming, <laughs> and I hope you guys th they're not laughing. They don't get no, it. No, I have no idea. <laughs> <what you're talking laughs> <about though. laughs> but there's a scene in the movie where you know the, the, one of the mall officials is announcing that Santa is coming to the mall, and he's like 10 a.m. and and Buddy the Elf, he's like Santa. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> All right. But the what's the what's the holiday? <laughs> it's a uh, it's a movie with Ken Whis Whistlet and uh, Cameron Diaz. Ah. Jack Black, um, and yeah. so... Kate Winslet, I yep. think, Joe. yeah. Yep. And okay. so they switch lives. So Kate lives in London, and then Cameron Diaz lives in L.A., so they do, like, a house exchange, and in that they like find... Like a Freaky Friday house exchange, or, like, they actually know they're switching lives? Yeah, no, they know. Not a Freaky okay. Friday. They know they're switching lives, they're switching um, cars, homes, all that, and in that they find love, and... It, a cute little holiday movie. I actually just watched it and it came out um, a couple of years ago. Okay. So How are you, Amber Wheeler? <laughs> My favorite movie is a classic. It's Home Alone. Yes. There's a couple mm -hmm. of them out there. I think I love, I love the first two. I think there might be more than two, but I, I only know of two. Maybe there was a third. Um, but I'm a huge fan of that movie. It reminds me of Christmas for obvious reasons, but it reminds me of my childhood because I watched it so many times as a kid. Obviously, um, Nightmare Before Elm Street, as you see there. Uh, I mean, Before Christmas. <laughs> I was like, what? Nightmare Before Christmas, excuse me. <laughs> Man, wouldn't that be kind of a wild one for, for having the Elm Street up. on there. Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I'm a big Tim Burton fan. That's why that's on there. And then Elf. I do love Elf. I haven't seen it in a while, but I, I'm a big Will Ferrell fan. I love his comedy, and I love his portrayal of, of that character. I think he does <laughs> such a good job. And like you said, Natalie, it's something you can quote all the time, and there are so many memes going around on the Internet with Buddy the Elf yep. right. this time of year. El I think Elf is uh, Will, F Will Ferrell's best acting job because I'm of the school of thought. He's a terrible actor, oh. and he does the same character in every single one, and I know I'm going to catch some flack You that. are, because well, he's got a special connection to KX, and you can talk to your uh, co-host or your host, Amber yeah. Shots, when she comes back on that one. <laughs> I know. I get it. But real quick, what are your top three? Uh, my top three, I've got uh, The Christmas Story, okay. A Christmas Story, excuse me. Uh, can someone please pull up mine because I'm forgetting? <laughs> Thank you. Christmas Vacation that's, that's, and also good. Home yeah. Okay. Now, uh, A Christmas Story, you know, that's where they have the 24 hours of Christmas it's on a TBS. Yeah. And I would, as a kid, lay on the couch and just watch that yeah. for hours, fall asleep, wake up, pick up where you left off. It was great. I watched it um, in a play. Like, I went to an actual play of The oh, Christmas wow. Story. And I've always enjoyed watching that. And yeah. hopefully, maybe there's a, a local play that's doing a Christmas story, hopefully. I hope so. That's yeah. a great movie. I, I mean, want a leg lamp. I've always wanted a leg lamp. Yeah. If you've seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then I know, we have another list. Right. Here. The production team. Rise of the Guardians? Come on now. Huh. Just Friends? Okay, that's Neil's favorite Christmas movie. I'm going to have to Google that. Victoria. How, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yep, with Jim Carrey. The Jim Carrey one, yep. Seth, Just Friends. Who is that with? Ryan Reynolds. Okay, I didn't know that that was a. Wait well, a minute. That's a Christmas. I just watched that maybe two weeks ago. Okay, okay. That's good. A good and then movie. And a Christmas story with Sebastian. Nice work, everybody. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Jurassic World. <laughs> Andrew, our production manager with Jurassic World. He's a big fan of dinosaurs. So hey, that's a good list of movies to put on your, on your list for the next month. <laughs> oh, that was good. I, I really enjoyed mm -hmm. um, listening to all your guys' favorite movies. But this has been Review It. Tomorrow we'll be talking about a new children's movie called Extinct that's streaming on Netflix. But